So I'm up at one of my favorite creeks and uh, been fishing from the roadway back about a kilometer or so and the river's pretty much all blown out. And uh, that's the thing about creeks is they, they change as the season goes on, they're never the same. Some of the holes stay the same, but a lot of the times when the, the spring runoff comes through, blows the whole river out, there's lots of uh, brown water, so the fish aren't uh, probably seeing the bait too well. I've just rigged up as I normally do with a worm and a hook. So I was hoping to catch a fish and make a fire and eat it, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. Um, so I did find a wild edible that's coming up, um, the trout lily. I did a video on that before, so you can look that up. But the gist of it is that the leaves themselves, and I'm sitting in a patch here, goes all the way back. And there's several patches as we come down here. But the uh, leaves themselves are edible. Um, most people will find that they give them an itchy palate, meaning at the back of the throat it will kind of feel kind of burny. Uh, they're acrid. A lot of people talk about the leaves as being edible. I, I find that the leaves are actually sweet when you first start eating them. But after a while, um, you know, maybe a, a, about a handful or so, they become unpalatable and you basically don't want to eat anymore. Um, and actually boiling them doesn't help. Uh, a couple changes to water doesn't make it any worse or any better, I should say. So, uh, but what they do offer is a bulb and they can be dug up. It's a small uh, bulb about the size of a piece of corn, sometimes a little bit smaller, sometimes a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is, since I have a, a patch here now, uh, there's a patch behind me and there's patches all the way upside the creek here. There's no real risk of me taking too many. So what I'm going to try to do is collect as many as I can using just a stick. So I'm not using any uh, modern tools. And I want to see how many I can collect in about a half an hour. Uh, we'll see. If the bulbs are too small, I may, I may give up a little sooner. But I want to see how many I can collect in about a half an hour to see what kind of return on my investment I can get. As you know, on my channel, I talk a lot about um, whether you can return your calories from wild edibles. So I imagine if you had kids and you wanted to put them to use, this would be a good place to do it. You'd send them over to the trout lily and they would dig as many as they, as they could and that would be their contribution to the meal and they probably would feel very, uh, very prideful and uh, helpful doing it. But, as adults, we know that uh, you know putting the cutlery away and cleaning up your room doesn't put food on the table. So while it's an interesting and helpful chore uh, for kids and, and a way to make them useful, it's uh, not necessarily going to feed the family. So it's a, it's a, maybe it's a side dish. We'll see. Um, of course, we don't really know exactly how many calories the bulbs produce, but we can get a fairly decent idea uh, by volume. So anyway, I'm gonna start digging. Uh, if I haven't already started digging so far over, over top of this video, and uh, we'll see what I can produce. And uh, I may just enjoy the rest of the day and not to work too hard to try to catch any fish because it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Looks like we're gonna have to get that river down and, uh, and uh, then the fish will settle into their, their little holes and pockets and then it's a little bit easier for, for them to catch them. So anyway, I've made a little stick here. It's uh, sharpened to a, uh, a point or shovel at the end and uh, well, hopefully uh, this will make things a little bit easier. But they don't, they're not too deep, so just a matter of a couple inches below the surface and pry them up and sort them out.
In about 20 minutes of digging, I collected that much. Of course, it's mostly the leaves, so we're gonna go down and clean it up. Uh, you can see that I, I only harvested a fairly small section. Uh, so obviously there's potential to get more, but I don't wanna destroy what's here. I just wanna get a little bit of a nibble and see how, uh, how productive I can be from about 20 minutes of work and then that can be scaled up so you can decide whether you think this uh, will provide any kind of return on your investment if you're if you were in a, a situation where you actually needed food. So let's go wash this up. So for about maybe a half hour, 45 minute work, I got about a handful of food. Um, they don't have to be cooked. They don't have to be cooked beyond here. They could be eaten straight. Although I probably wouldn't eat these right now because I washed them in the creek. And uh, as a rule, I, uh, I, don't, I don't drink water that hasn't been boiled. So I will uh, bring these back home and, uh, and wash them up with some clean water and get all the soil and grit out. But uh, yeah, they don't have to be cooked, so they're good just like that. And uh, they actually are quite, uh, quite tasty to eat, uh, very sweet and no, uh, no bad aftertaste, no burning sensation, unlike the leaves as I mentioned. So I, I would, uh, you mean you can make up your own mind as far as if you think that's worth uh, half an hour work. Um, you know, you, you know roughly how many calories you need per hour. So I guess if that's all you had, it'd probably be worthwhile just to sit there and eat them. But uh, you may end up with some parasites <laughs> if you're eating a lot of this just straight with all the soil and dirt. Uh, there are roundworms and uh, and whatnot that can live in soil for a very long time and not be destroyed. And that you get that from uh, animal feces like raccoon. So if there's a raccoon walking by and it uh, makes a deposit that uh, that can spread there and then you pick it up and eat it and uh, you end up with a parasite yourself. So anyway, there are some concerns with eating um, wild foods just right straight out of the soil. So they should be washed well and uh, and be made safe. So there you go. That's a that's another experiment for the books and uh, maybe I'll can catch a fish. I don't know. I'll keep trying. That's all I can do. It's all nature will give me today. <laughs>